Hi everyone, Giuliano here. Microsoft has announced a new employee experience platform called Microsoft Viva, which embraces four modules, connections, learning, topics and insights. In this video I will focus on insights, which is a new app already available in the team store. The main goal of this app is to build better work habits. It gives to individuals, managers and leaders personalized and actionable insights. Ok, let's move forward and I'll show you every step. I am in the tech community website. Here you can discuss around every Microsoft technology with everybody. And Microsoft uses this website to announce new products and services with related features as well. More specifically, in this blog post, we can see that Microsoft has announced on Thursday this new platform called Microsoft Viva. There are a few descriptions around Microsoft Viva and more specifically for every model that composes this new platform, connections, insights, learning and topics. For every topic, for every application, you can find a related link to jump in the blog post where you can get more insights. Going on top now here, I want to click on this link because I want to open the main blog post which announce and explain more in detail what is Microsoft Viva. And here you can go deeper by looking at also this animated GIF so you have a preview and a better look what is this new platform and what is every model that is part of this platform. Now, as I said, I want to focus on Viva Insights. So I will install now this new app in Microsoft Teams, which is already available in the Teams App Store. I have already a tab open with Microsoft Teams ready to go. Okay, in order to install this new app called Viva Insights, you can click on the three dots in the left navigation pane here. And in the search box, you can just type Insights. And this app will show up. You can even click on More Apps or on this icon, Apps. This will open the Teams App Store and then here you can search for Insights. And there we go. This is the app that we want to install. So this is called Microsoft Viva Insights. This is a personal app. This means that will be hosted on the left navigation pane in Microsoft Teams. Let's click on Add in order to install this application. Here we go. This is the personal view of Viva Insights. We have on top here two tabs, Stay Connected and Product Time. Let's explore the first one, Stay Connected. Here we have two sections. We have Pinned Information and then below we have Recent. Here I have two suggestions around Joanna Lawrence and Patti Fernandez because the main goal of this tab is to improve the collaboration with your colleagues and your teammates. In fact, in the first suggestion, I have the teammates Joanna Lawrence and here as suggestion, I have schedule a one-to-one -one meeting. You don't have a one-to-one -one meeting in the next two weeks. Here are some suggested times to, that work for you and Joanna Lawrence. So here I can easily check a time slot, for example, on Tuesday 9 February, and then I can easily send this invitation to Joanna Lawrence to stay closer, to improve our collaboration and to speed up our projects. Okay, let's click now on send invite. Now this invite is sent. Here I have a second suggestion related to Patti Fernandez because I have frequent contacts with my colleague Patti Fernandez. And here, as for Joanna Lawrence, I have this suggestion, schedule a meeting one-to-one, -one. you don't have a one-to-one -one meeting and so on. So here I can easily select if I want. I can set a time slot or I can open the calendar. So then I can even pin this information or here I can get this reminder every two weeks or monthly or known. Let's try to pin this suggestion. And now this suggestion is pinned on top. This works very good if you have a lot of suggestions. So then you want to follow up three or four 
suggestions would are very relevant and important for you. Now let's jump on the Joanna Lawrence view. Here I am connected as Joanna Lawrence. Let me jump on Outlook and here, as you can see, I received the invitation by Li Gu. Clicking on this email, I can decide if accept or not this invitation in order to have a one-to-one -one chat with Li Gu. Let's click on yes. Now I am back in the view of Ligu and so as you can see here in the Teams calendar I don't have this appointment, this meeting with Joanna Lawrence because it is just a reminder for the one-to-one -one chat. Then I have to jump on Outlook.office in the calendar here we can see that now this reminder is scheduled on 9 February. If I open this one it's just a reminder that remind me to have a one-to-one -one chat with Joanna Lawrence. I am now in the Patti Fernandez perspective and here I want to show you that in the recent section you can even collect information related to the invitations. I got this invitation by Li Gu for the meeting project Drone X Stand Up meeting. But but I have not yet provided an answer and so this app tell me that I have to provide an answer so if I click on the drop down here I can provide my answer by clicking on accept or decline clicking on this little drop down I can even explode and expand this panel because I have a second suggestion here that remind me to have more frequently a one-to-one -one meeting with Ligu. We have seen how this Viva Insights, more specifically this first tab of this app, helps you to improve the collaboration with your teammates and colleagues. Let's jump now on the second tab. I am back in Teams with Ligu and here I will click now on the second tab. So this second tab helps you to schedule focus time. And I love this feature because this is what I do every day. Every time that I need to stay focused on a project or if I have an idea and I need time to develop this idea and in order to build something new, or if I have just training, so if I need to have one hour to learn a new technology, this is what I do. I open the calendar in Outlook and I book my time. Below I have several time slots with options that helps me to book time on my calendar. I can click on focus time here and for example I can type idea xxx then I have this time slot and I can click on book time. Again, I can expand here, show all available times. And so here I have other, other days. For example, I will go through the 10th February and here again I can type focus on project drone X. And then I can click on the button book time in order to have this time slot booked on my calendar. Of course, if I made some mistake, I can click on the button remove slot and this will be automatically removed from my calendar. Okay, it's time to jump now on the calendar in order to check if this idea xxx is booked. Clicking now on the calendar, we can see that this time slot is booked. So my status will be do not disturb and so I can in this way stay more focused on my idea. Unfortunately, I don't have the workplace analytics license which is required in order to have the full capabilities of this app. I will show you this preview that I taken from the blog post by Microsoft. So here we have as additional tabs, my team and my org. These two tabs are reserved to managers and leaders. Now in my team, here we have three menu items, outcomes, employee experience and team effectiveness. This is the tab, my org. And we have here a lot of new functionality, outcomes, organizational resilience, employee engagement, improve agility, foster innovation, effective managers, high efficiency, accelerate change, meeting culture and increase customer focus. Now let's check the requirements in order to have the full capability of this application. I am now on the Microsoft website which explain what you need and the requirements for workplace analytics. 
First of all, you need an enterprise agreement with Microsoft. Then you have an Office 365 or Microsoft 365 product that contains either Exchange Online Plan 1 or Exchange Online Plan 2. Then you can assign the workplace analytics to your managers and leaders and the full capabilities of the Insights app will be available. Okay, we have seen what is Microsoft Viva and the new app in the Teams store called Insights. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If yes, give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. I hope to see you next time. Bye.